up, everyone? I'm Rich Mays Lopez. I'm Brendan Dunn, news editor at Soul Collector. I'm Matt Welty, editor of Complex Sneakers. And this is Full Size Run Show, a very special edition of Full Size Run Show, where we're going to be breaking down five shoes that you should never, ever, ever Ever? Yeah, I don't, there, in my opinion, there are no circumstances under which you should be wearing these. Listen, well, we're- the, What if you really hate yourself? Should you wear <laughs> these? <laughs> Basically, you know, we, we love footwear, we love we sneakers, do. we care a lot about them. And yep. because of that, we have strong opinions about what you should wear and what you shouldn't be wearing. So yes. these are all models I think we feel pretty strongly about. Never wear. Unless you want to get roasted. Uh, should we hop into it? Yeah, let's do it. Let's all do right. it. Um, I wanna, start off I right. want to talk about these Vibram five finger is it One, fingers or toes? <laughs> the, 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 the shoe is called the five finger, if I can get this open. Okay, so I feel like you see a lot of people maybe like in the Pacific Northwest wearing something like this. You know, it's got your, it's got your toes individually uh, broken out here. I'm trying to figure out why. Like, I'm that's why I'm reading this literature right now to figure out what am I missing. Is there some scientific breakdown exactly. about, about the, the many advantages of this piece of, this piece of questionable footwear? So this pamphlet is telling us that you need to look touch and listen to your feet. This is basically the barefoot trend at its very worst. Do you, this is terrible. Do you think if you worked in like a really nasty kitchen, you could just put these on as gloves and like scrub the dishes? <laughs> That'd be like a better still, use of still them. Still not acceptable. We need, <laughs> so we need no, to get these out of here. There's no reason to even put these on. Get them out of here, get, get them, them out of get here. Get them off my hands. You might be able to prove to people you actually have five toes if you put them <laughs> on. Here we go, we have the UGG X Tiva. I can't believe the- Air Chewbacca's. Uh, the, yeah, the Air Harambe's, <laughs> yes. right? I, I yes. can't believe that UGG is in the collaboration game. Again, I don't understand the purpose of the shoe and here's why, okay? Because it's an open toe joint, which is a complete no-no off the top, but then- We don't want to see your It's fur-lined. So doesn't that just defeat the purpose of having this ventilation if you're gonna line it with fur? I don't understand the, the, it. The people at UGG are sending mixed messages. Do you yeah. Think, do you think Tom Brady lounges around in these and sucks <laughs> up his UGG deal? You definitely get, you have to be super high to wear these. So it's like, that's like pretty much the target demo on this. Get them out of here, get them out of here. Don't wear those. Get the box that's out of just here embarrassing. Too. It doesn't make any I don't sense. Want to see the box anymore. These are legendary piece of footwear here in the Soul Collector Complex office. It is the Mark Nason Might Be Yeezys. Yeah, might not be. Well, I don't think we can legally call them <laughs> Yeezy knockoffs because the people at Skechers may get offended by that as they have in the past. Why, why um, do people at Skechers get triggered so much? <laughs> <laughs> what we do know is this is a piece of, of, of Skechers design, quote unquote, that uh, looks an awfully lot like a certain Kanye West shoe it right just down might. to the colorway. It just might, right, not even down to the colorway, I right mean, down to the obvious use. No Mark Nasons. No Mark Nason Fugazi Yeezys, please, ever. This is one of the best-selling Nike sneakers right now. This is the Nike Tangent what does that Racer. Say? What does that say? Look, basically this is a price point shoe, right? Okay. How much does it cost? It's a $70 shoe. It That's looks price a, point? It looks wow. a lot like the Roshi. It's yes. basically a Roshi knockoff, but Nike knocked themselves off. According to the insole, it's engineered for all day, every day comfort. What is, what is your beef with this? I just think it's a lazy shoe. Okay. You know, the Roshi is a successful shoe. It's the same exact design, more or less. I don't know, this one is not so offensive to me, but I understand why. Less offensive than the others, but still just a lazy choice and not you, one I want to see. Would you let your mom wear those shoes? Chill, no? why are we bringing my mom up? We, you can we go to famous- We would also love to have your mom on the show. I would love to too. You can go to time. famous footwear and get better than this, right? Do better. Yeah. Do better than this. Get Nike these out of here. Right, so get them out of here. This one is going to be our most controversial pick of what not Wait, to ever wear. Slightly. Like every every once in a while. Slightly. And this is the Zebra Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2. And the reason why we picked this one is simply because everyone in the fucking world has this sneaker. And you are not going to stand out or flex rocking this. You're just going to look like every other Tom, Dick, and Harry. It's the type of shoe people throw on because they want to they wanna yes. give off some air of exclusivity. This is the how to get likes on Instagram classic. Just throw these on and you'll get your likes, but you will also look like every single person on my explore page. Although I have to admit, I do have a pair in the collection. So do I. There's yes. nothing wrong with the sneaker. Yes. But at this point- In a vacuum. Yes, at it this point- It might actually be the best colorway of the V2 though. It is. But at this point, the market is flooded with these. Yeah, yeah, Everyone yeah. and their mother has them. I, I rocked mine a couple times and I'm gonna be honest with you, I kind of feel bad about it, man. 
Like, uh, looking back on it now, it was like... Dark times in your life? Looking back on it now, it was like, I could have made a better choice This than is that. the sort of Yeezy, if you actually got it at this point, you could just wear it to the gym and fuck it up and not care I about rocked it. it. I rocked mine to the beach. I wore it in the sand. At that point, I was like, I'm fucking over this sneaker. What a flex. Did, did, did you go like up to the edge of the water and take that like cinematic photo with the wave rolling over your Yeezy? I no, that's not, for the no. wave runners. I did not, yeah. When the 700s come in. And you know what? Get these out of here. There's something else that we have to talk about, fellas. Gotta talk about it. More footwear? And it's these things. 99 cent chancletas from Old Navy. No. Never. Fellas. Don't. Don't do it. Fellas, you should not be rocking full open foot chancletas ever, what about, ever. What about the beach? No slides. No. Slides. Yeah. Gucci flip flops. I'd rather go barefoot. You know what I'm saying? Would you rather go barefoot? You don't think these would go <laughs> good with a pair of capris? <laughs> no, I do. I do. And that's the problem. That is exactly the problem. Listen, point blank period, fellas, don't ever rock chancletas out in public. You know what's more no. egregious, though? What's that? Is when you see people in Times Square wearing flip-flops. Or on the train. And you know how filthy it is Ugh. outside. It's just like... Don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. That is it. We went through the Nike 10s and the Yeezy Boost 350. It's like a graveyard of garbage in front of us. The Mark Nason Fugazi Yeezys. The Tiva Uggs. And it's not even like you have to rock the, the most limited thing or the most hype thing. It's just don't rock this shit, period. I think we need to get a flex assist for the set right now, bro. Just... Did you just say flex assist? <laughs> yes. He was like waiting. You can I'm see Rich Mays it. Lopez. You can see it. I'm Brendan Dunn, news editor at Soul Collector. I'm Matt Wealthy, editor of Complex Sneakers. Peace. Listen, this is important. I need you to subscribe. They're going to make me keep wearing these fake Skechers Yeezys until we hit 50,000 subscribers. So please, subscribe to Soul Collector on YouTube. Now.